Now, if you're using any AI like ChatGPT or you're paying someone to create a content for you, this is a video that will show you how to check for the originality to avoid plagiarism. Hi, this is Dominic. I'm a seven-figure internet business entrepreneur, mentor to thousands of people around the world. And the challenge is if you've been using traditional plagiarism checkers like CopyScape, tools like this are not able to check for AI content. Now, if you've been publishing on Amazon or you've been keeping up to track with what Google has been talking about their policies against AI, while all these platforms do not seem to ban AI content yet, but what they're enforcing is the originality of the content. So in short, if you are going to take whatever that AI tool gives to you or AI writer gives to you and you think that I can make money with ChatGPT just by taking the content generated and plugging in, that's the part where you have risk getting Google slapped or your content being blocked, being banned by platforms like Amazon. So I've been seeing a lot of videos out there talking about using ChatGPT to make money, creating KDP books and all this stuff. And as someone who have been publishing books on KDP, and guiding many people to become bestsellers on the platform, I'm here to tell you this. Amazon has been adopting a very serious stance for people using private labor rights. Private labor rights usually refers to information content where people sell you the rights to use it however you want. Now, they have a very strict policy against such things. So you cannot just go and buy a private labor rights content or a book and just plug it in and kind of like publish it on Amazon. That will trigger Amazon to ban your account or to at least block that book from being published. So my prediction is Amazon is going to adopt something close to that when it comes to AI generated content. You cannot just use it as it is. And that's when the other video I talked about how you can use AI content instead, not copy and paste, but how you can improve on it to make sure that first of all, it has maximum sellability, but second of all, that it still has originality. And third of all, to make sure that you still have humanized content to add value to your customers. You cannot just be teaching people how to do stuff, which any AI tools out there can do. So again, go check out the video that I've created talking about that if you have not. So what should you do moving forward? So instead of just checking for the traditional plagiarism, where they're checking against websites, blogs, books, to see if it has been plagiarized, taken from all these sources, we also now have to check for fully generated AI content. Now at this moment, CopyScape is not able to detect whether it's AI generated content or not, unless it has already been generated and published on certain websites that's publicly available. That Copyscape can check. But if it's freshly generated and no one has used it as it is, for example, Copyscape will not be able to detect. And this is why I like to share with you this tool that I'm now using and it's called Originality. The link to the tool is below. You can go check it out in the description. What you want to do right now is that for every single piece of content, be it whether you're doing a blog, be it whether you are creating an information product like a book or a course, or you're asking someone to help you with a script for your upcoming presentation or not, this is the part where I would strongly suggest you, especially if a third party is involved, or if you plan to use AI tools here and there to generate some ideas, always run through this tool. Okay, so what you're seeing over here is this text that was generated using ChatGPT using the exact prompt as you can see. So this is the part where I created a 500 word article on using essential oils for busy adults. So this is just a test to see whether originality.ai is able to check that or not. So I've selected the entire text over here and I'm just going to copy and paste it into originality.ai as you can see over here. So when you're signing up for the first time, they will give you some free credits that will be great for you to test things out. Now, at this point in time, whenever we use any plagiarism checker tools, they always have a limit in terms of the number of words, maximum number of words that they can check for plagiarism. And in this case, also detect AI as well. So you have to take a look at that point in time, how many words would that be? So if let's say you have a very long presentation or you have like a book that goes on for like forever, you got to splice it up into different parts, copy and paste it in according to the character or the word limit and then you just use the function, right? So in this case, I'm gonna click on scan now and let's see how accurate this tool is in detecting AI content. So I'm gonna click on scan now. And so, so there you go, originality is done with the scanning and you can see that it's 100% detected as AI. Now, the next thing, you might be wondering, what's the difference between this green highlight and the red highlights? So they actually do tell you what the highlighting actually means that if it's dark red, it's 100% AI, dark green equals 100% original content. Although it's fully generated by AI, you will see that they will still label this as green, 
but the score that they give will be 100% AI still. And that is just for AI results. There's another tab that's called plagiarism, where if you click on it, they will actually tell you how many of it is being plagiarized. And something that is very similar to Copyscape is that they also tell you where they found the content from, like which website is it from. So they will actually tell you how many percent they are. And of course, you can go visit the website. So you can also click on the highlight plagiarism and they will actually tell you exactly which sentence over here is plagiarized from that website. So this is the tool that I now use whenever I have a third party or I use any tools at all to give me some content ideas. So obviously, now that I've checked, they have credit system. And once you have finished using these credits, you can top up and the rates are all available on the website. So after using Copyscape since like forever and now originality.ai, here's my verdict. I would say that now that there's a lot of AI content being generated, I would strongly suggest you to use originality.ai instead. And you will notice that it actually doubles up with what Copyscape is able to do. It checks for plagiarism. It tells you which website is being plagiarized from or potentially plagiarized from. But on top of that, they also do the AI content generation check. So again, although Google and Amazon is not strongly against AI tool at this moment, I would strongly suggest that you have to use originality and insert it as one of the workflow whenever you create any content. And especially in today's world where a lot of people, including myself, are using ChatGPT from here and there. Even if you're not using the content wholesale, you're kind of taking the ideas, but there is a chance that you might just copy and paste a certain phrase or a certain sentence and forget about editing it. Now you might be wondering, so Dom, how many percent are we looking at when it comes to AI results? Just like what I coach my graduates in my own program is that any form of plagiarism is plagiarism. It doesn't matter how much is the allowed percentage. To me, 1% is being plagiarized with the exception of referring to certain quotes by some famous people, right? Thomas Edison said this or someone else said that. And so if it appears in the plagiarism checkers, what I do is I just ignore that. But if any other sentences appear being plagiarized, even if it's just 1% using whatever checkers, I will get it fixed. Either I rewrite it myself or I get someone else to help me to rewrite. Now, how about false positives? Like let's say you created the content or someone else actually created the content from scratch, but parts of it was being marked as AI content. Again, it doesn't matter because I guess it will come to a point in time where Amazon, knowing Amazon, working with them for like years by now, Knowing Amazon, they will have their own plagiarism and AI content checker soon if they don't already have that. But if they are detecting a certain part as AI generated content, I'm going to fix it anyway. It doesn't matter whether I really came up with the idea or I didn't. What matters is what the machine thinks of me. Because with so many ebooks being digitally published on Amazon on a day to day basis, I don't think they're going to hire someone to manually review every single part that's being flagged meaning that they're going to be very dependent on the script, on the software, on their plagiarism checkers, AI tool detectors, and that's what's going to happen. So in summary, whether it's something that I freshly thought of or what, the moment it's being marked as AI generated content, I will reword it. I will add in my own examples. I will go rephrase that. Yeah. And that's my suggestion to you as well. And by the way, if you decide that you want to be serious in starting or growing a profitable business, I can share with you the three-step process that I use to literally go from zero as a science graduate with no business background, connections, or experience. And I will show you how I use a three-step system to build it into a seven-figure empire so that you can emulate it. You can also achieve more success in the shortest possible time. You can do that by going to my website that is listed over here. Now, in the meantime, if you find this training to be really useful, you can click on the thumbs up button to let me know. You can leave a comment at the bottom of this video and I'll see you in the next video. In the meantime, don't forget to subscribe to my channel by clicking on the subscribe button. That way you will always receive an update whenever my next video is ready for you. To take your business and your life to the next level, watch this video and I'll see you in the next one.